Hi, you guys, and welcome to day seven of KRI Malformation Awareness Month. So, with the hurricane just recently passing through or passing by Florida, I wanted to talk a bit about how storms like this affect people with KRI Malformation. It's kind of off my schedule a little bit, but I feel like it's an important topic to talk about. Now, KRI Malformation patients, we are affected by anything that causes a barometric pressure change. Now, what this does is this pressure change affects our condition because it affects the pressure in our brain and also affects the condition called syringomelia, which is the liquid in our spinal cord. Now, I am on a Facebook group with quite a few other Kiarians, and I have, I posted something back on Sunday, uh, which was last week exactly a week ago. And so by last Sunday, I mentioned that I was feeling the pain and I asked who else had been. People had been feeling this for a week beforehand. They had been feeling it a few days beforehand. Uh, there have been head pains. Um, there has been, you know, their backs have been hurting. It's like, it goes on and on and on with stuff about how, um, they've been in pain for days because of the fact that the barometric pressure change has just, it, it drops so quickly when a storm comes in and it starts to fluctuate as soon as the storm starts to form anywhere near our coast. So the entire time that, Dorian was pummeling the Bahamas, which seriously have the Bahamas in your thoughts and prayers because they went through hell. But the entire time it was pummeling the Bahamas, anyone with Chiari was in excruciating amounts of pain. There's a very much difference of worry when it comes to a hurricane when you have Chiari. You have the worry of, oh, it's going to be a cat three, four, five, it's going to destroy our homes. And then, oh, the barometric pressure is going to change. I am going to be in the fetal position wanting to die for three days. Um, even as I'm recording this now, I am still in a lot of pain. And it's still been very hard for me to sleep because it's hard for me to find a comfortable spot to be in. Because lately, as much as I try, trying to get comfortable at night with the excruciating amount of pain that I'm in is very hard. Now, please take into account, this is not trying to downplay a damage that a hurricane can do. As we all see from what Dorian did to the Bahamas, it is a serious danger and people should listen when they say to evacuate. And we seriously need to all have our thoughts and prayers with the Bahamas because they got absolutely pummeled by it and it just kind of sat on top of them and it was terrible. What I'm hoping to do is to bring awareness to the fact that if there's somebody in your home who has Chiari and a hurricane is coming, especially in Florida, you need to plan for that. You need to plan to be able to get them out. Evacuating when you have Chiari is not an option. And it's not just evacuating to a shelter. It's evacuating as far out of wherever the uh, storm is as possible. So it's not so much as a damage to your home kind of a situation. It's a damage to them. Because I can tell you as somebody who did not evacuate that I've been sleeping constantly for the last couple of days. I have been having to take pain meds up a lot. And nothing really numbs the pain. It just kind of helps me ignore it long enough to sleep for a few hours. And there are a lot of people who are going through the same exact thing. But when you have Kiari, getting away from the pressure change is your best bet to avoiding the amount of pain you're in. So when you have somebody in your family who has Kiari or you have Kiari, keep that in mind when hurricane season comes. Have that little savings there so that if you have to evacuate because the storm is coming in order to avoid the excruciating amount of pain you can do so all right you guys keep looking forward to these videos every single day for kiari malformation awareness month starting next week i will be doing the testimonials 
from fellow Kiari Warriors, so keep that in mind and keep a lookout for that. All right, you guys, I will see you next time. This is Caitlin signing off. Bye.